Hi everyone, it's Dylan here, just uh, doing a quick little video about stacking. You probably have heard of stacking, of course, in the astrophotography world. It's pretty much the staple of all deep sky and planetary uh, astrophotography. It was really pioneered by the microscopy crowd who uh, were using it for uh, focus stacking to get uh, really end-to-end -end sharp focus on their images by stacking a series of them. Uh, and it was quickly adopted by the astronomy community, particularly the amateur astronomy community, uh, who, was, who were able to use it to stack some really top quality images of, of planets that uh, nobody had ever seen before from, from Earth. Um, but what is stacking? What, what does it actually do? I feel like there's a whole mythology around uh, stacking this. So I just wanted to clear up some of that, uh, that mythology because stacking is really quite simple. Essentially, stacking just kills noise. Uh, all cameras have noise. They have heat noise, read noise, ISO, gain, grain. There's all number of things that can introduce noise into your image. The single frame that you see there is, uh, is just one three minute sub of the Lagoon Nebula. And you can see it's pretty noisy. Even though it's a CCD, even though it's cool to, to minus 45 degrees Celsius, it's still pretty noisy. So in order to really make the image work and, uh, and get those magazine quality images uh, that you see, uh, you have to stack them. Now stacking uses averaging, which means that it compares every pixel. So pixel number one, it compares to pixel number one on every image across the, uh, the stack of images that you have. And it works out, is that pixel value changing? Um, if it's changing by a lot, we'll add them all together and get the average uh, value for that pixel and by doing that uh, the more exposures you have that you can compare the average gets closer and closer to the actual signal value that it's supposed to be and the noise gets essentially cancelled out um, essentially stacking is just killing noise that's that's all it means stacking isn't magic stacking more frames does not reveal signal that isn't already there um, people tend to spend hours and days and months uh, imaging a single target and, and with the belief that it's going to reveal uh, more signal than, than is already there. But that's not the case. Um, what it's actually doing is removing the noise so that you can see what is actually the signal. The other thing that uh, people get carried away with is the number of exposures. Uh, you can see here on this graph, uh, which I've referenced uh, with the link down below, the signal to noise ratio or the improvement on your uh, image by stacking uh, really can't, starts to peter out after 40 to 50. It be, it, the improvement is so negligible after that that it's um, almost imperceptible and certainly nothing that um, couldn't be done with, uh, with post-processing denoise or, or something like that. Um, so that's an interesting thing to remember. But then again, stacking is magic. Like the images that you get out of a stacked image uh, are remarkable. A good stack reduces so much of the noise that the image can be pushed and stretched harder and the signal appears stronger. You see detail that what didn't appear to be there before now it was there but it was just hidden behind all of that, that noise. Um, so stacking really is magical in that sense and having more frames allows you to throw away those frames that uh, didn't work out whether they had um, um, focus issues or some, someone bumped the tripod or there was a flash of light or whatever. Uh, it, it, particularly with planetary the seeing goes up and down so you can throw away all the bad ones and just keep the good ones. So that's not, that isn't necessarily stacking but it's a consequence of taking lots of images and uh, then being able to process them that way. So here's an image of M8. It's the same one from before, and I'm going to zoom right in so you can see that level of uh, noise. It's really quite severe on a single frame. You can see there's nothing really uniform about this uh, color across the image, and that's typical of a single frame. Now DSLRs get it a bit worse because they've got um, the color array, but They've also got quite hot chips with no uh, cooling, so they tend to get a lot of heat noise as well. Uh, but if I flip over to a stacked version of the same, you can see if I zoom in here, 
that the color is smooth and buttery and it's just quite noiseless and if I zoom into an area that might have a little bit of detail let's say up in here I've got a few little um, hot pixels in there but you can see how sharp that is now compare that to the the noisy single frame and there are there are details that don't seem to be there in the single but they are in there just behind all that noise so stacking uses those averages over that series of images and kills the noise dead and that allows us to really push the image further in, in uh, post-processing and get a really clear result I hope that uh, kind of explained what stacking is and how it helps our images and hopefully that made sense and I hope to bring more of these videos for you soon so I'm just working out all my software and getting my head around everything and it seems to be going alright so far so if you like it give me a thumbs up and subscribe alright bye guys